go. All right, you should be on problem number, on 7-1, you should have done problem number 7. 7-1 seven problem number 7. If you haven't done that yet, obviously, go back and get it done. All right, Tarzan plans to cross a gorge by swinging on an arc with a, he, uh, with a hanging vine. So he's swinging on a vine. All right, that's nice of him. He's going in an arc. So this is a circle where that's the center of the circle. Agreed? So therefore, he needs what kind of force? He's going in a circle. He's centripetal force. So we take a look at the problem and go, all right, we got this. And so was the max speed he can tolerate the lowest swing of his points? So we're going to pretend like he's down here at the very bottom. He's currently holding on to the rope. And we go, okay, all right. So force centripetal, sorry, force net equals the sum of all forces. That the net force because he's going in a circle is force centripetal, and that's going to be equal to uh, it's going to be equal to force of tension pulling him up the rope minus force of weight pulling him down. So now I got a problem because since I'm going in an up down direction, force of weight now comes into play. So tension rope is not the only thing anymore. It all matters on what which direction I'm going in, right? If I'm going up and down, then I gotta worry about it fighting weight. Okay. Weight's gonna make more tension on that rope. So I'm gonna go, well, force of travel, I know the formula for that. That's nice. Force of tension is what I'm looking for, I think. I'll read the problem. Nope. Force of tension is not what I'm looking for. Force of tension is twelve hundred. Uh minus force of weight, which is force of weight is da, 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 da. okay, his arms are capable. Okay, his mass is eighty five times 9.8, we'll assume Tarzan currently is on planet Earth. So 85 over here. What velocity can he have? That's the question. What's the radius? Well, the radius would be the length of the, the line he's swinging on, correct? So that would be 4.8 meters long. And that's going to be equal to 1,200 minus 85 times 9.8. You're going to whop in 367 over here times 4.8 divided by 85, boom, and then I, v squared equals 20.7, take the square root, and I get that this maximum velocity at the bottom of this path is 4.55 meters per second. All right, so that's how you do those types of problems. Okay, so now you should go ahead and get out assignment 7.6. And then I would like you to go ahead and start doing the first, go ahead and do the problems. You should be able to do the first problem, no problem, but I will join you there anyway. So we'll do the first problem together afterwards. Um, and then go ahead and do the second problem. We'll do that after that. And then you'll be on your own for the rest of it. We'll talk about the next time we get to class. All right. So problem number one on seven, six, so problem number one on seven, six. So get that problem done and then hit play and then we'll, Go ahead and do this together. So, seven six number seven six number two. Okay, if you hear a scream in the background, that's the, uh, the grandchild just finally figured out how to turn on the treadmill. It's a learning experience. It truly is. Oh my goodness! Ready? Oh, the tension's killing me. All right, let's go. A uh, bucket of mass 2 kilograms is whirled in a vertical circle of radius 1 point. No, I'm doing the problem with the in. Okay, i got to pause now. Uh, no grandchildren were killed in the making of this video. All right, let's move forward. i got Tarzan swinging across the vine. You've just done the same, same problem. But we'll go ahead and do it all, all, all like we did it before. Uh, swing across the vine. Uh, capable of exerting a force of 1,400 newtons in the vine. What's the maximum speed his arm could... Can he tolerate at the lowest point of swing? His mass is 80 kilograms. He's on a diet, apparently. We're at the bottom. He's got a force of tension up. He's got a force of weight pulling him down. Force centripetal. Because he's going in a circle. Sorry, F net is some of all forces. So he's going in a circle, so his net force has to be force centripetal. And that's equal to force of tension lifting him up minus force of weight pulling him down. So that's going to be mv squared over r equals force of tension minus uh, mg. Okay, so the mass of uh, Tarzan is 80. What is maximum speed? So I put a squared on his velocity, and his radius would be the length of the vine, which is 5.50. Force of tension, I maximum equal to stand is 1400 minus 80. 
80 times 9.8, and we've got a similar formula we just did. So that's 1400, Oop, 1400 uh, minus 80 times 9.8 uh, divided by 5.5 divided by 80, and I get a what? Oh, wait, that feels wrong. Okay, oh, oh, that should be good. That show oh, I divided by, and that's not good. So 616 times 5.5 divided by 80. Here we go. How about 42, 42.35 is v squared. So square root wise, it's going to be his velocity. Maximum velocity could be 6.51 meters per second. Okay, go ahead and try number two both A and B, and then I will jump on and do those in just a moment. So uh, if you need more time, obviously, hopefully you do. Uh, you take more time by pausing this, and then I will hop on here. So I'm giving you time. Stalling, stalling. All right, swing in a bucket in a vertical circle of 1.0. Vertical means up and down, right? So vertical 1.0, the lowest motion, at the lowest point of the motion, Tension of the rope supporting the bucket is 0.2 is 25 newtons. So I got a bucket. Okay. All right. Find the find the speed of the bucket. Okay. So to the very bottom of its circle, it's going like this. I got force of tension up minus force of weight down, and it's going in a circle. So therefore, F net equals the sum of all forces. We now know that force net has to be force in trepidal because it's going in a circle. I got force of tension pulling up minus force of weight pulling down. Force in trepidal is mv squared over r equals force of tension, which is uh, 25 minus force of weight, which is 2 times 9.8. The mass of the bucket is 2. Uh, velocity is what I'm looking for, and the radius is going to be 1.10, and over here I got 25 minus 2 times 9.8, and I got a whopping 5.4, uh, this is 1.1, 1.1, okay, uh, oh, times 1.1 divided by 2, and I get a whop in v squared equals 2.97, or v has to equal 1.72 meters per second. All right, now that that said, okay, how fast must the book go at its hop so the rope won't go slack? This is the same question as if there was no water coming out, right? So the rope's got to be tense. It's got to have a force of tension on it. Okay, so the moment where it's not get quite slack is the moment where the force of tension in that rope is zero or just barely bigger than zero, right? So if it's overhead, here we go. I got force net, sum of all forces. I've got force centripetal because going in a circle is equal to force of tension down. I got force of weight also down, right? And then I note the following. Centripetal force also has to be downwards because the center of the circle is down here that this thing's whirling around, right? So it's going to be negative as well. So I've got negative force of tension minus force of weight. So that's mv squared over r equals force of tension. We just talked about force of tension. Force of tension is going to be what in this case? If the rope is just barely there. It's not pulling down at all, and it's not slack, which means there's some just minimal amount of force on it. The point at which that happens, where it's right on the edge, is zero, right? So minus force of weight, which should have been 2 times 9.8. All right, so then i got 2 over here. I've got velocity, which I don't know, right? How fast does the bike go so it doesn't go slack? Radius is still 1.1, and that's equal to 2 times 9.8. And I get a whop in 19.6 times 1.1 divided by 2. And I get v squared equals 10.78 to the 0.5. And I get a whop in my velocity at the top. Must be at least 
0.28 meters per second. Otherwise, the rope will go slack and this won't work. All right, so there's your two examples of the problem. Finish up the rest of 7.6 and we'll do the problems on the board when we get back. All right, thank you much. If you have any questions, send me an email.